Hey guys, it's Everything for iPod. I have a really cool video today. I'm going to be showing you how to activate AirPrint, which is the new feature in iOS 4.2 that Apple announced. But you're, you can't really print on most printers. Um, they did limit it to mini printers. Let me get a better camera angle here. Um, so basically, I'm going to show you how to activate it on any printer. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this. And yeah. So if you go to a normal, right here I have my 3G, my 3GS, sorry, um, running 4.2. And let me just open up my photos real fast and choose here. Right here is a uh, screenshot I just took that I actually want to print. But if I go into the print menu, you'll notice that when I go to select a printer, It'll say looking for printers and it'll scan for a printer for a while and it'll say no printers found. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to activate it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download this application called AirPrint Hacktivator. Um, there will be a download link in the video description to download this software. So we're going to go ahead and open that up and you can see on the screen this is what it looks like. It's Pretty much an AirPrint icon has the on and off toggle and says the status. Basically, we're just going to click the toggle, switch it to on. I did black that out because that's my name, but you're just going to want to uh, type in your password and it'll say activated. And basically, now you're ready to quit that. You do want to leave that application installed on your computer, although it does not do need to be open to print from your iOS device. Now what you're going to do is go into your system preferences and go to under the hardware tab. You're going to go to print and fax. And right here, this is the printer I want to enable for AirPrint. Um, it is the printer. There are two printers in my house. You see both of them right here. This is the one I want to activate. It is the one set up um, right next to my desk set up. So this is the one I want to do. So what you're going to want to do is go down here and click the lock to make changes. Again, I did black that out so you can't see my name. Type in your password and the lock will unlock right here. Now you're actually going to want to make sure the printer you want is selected, highlighted in blue. And you're going to actually just delete it. And then go ahead and click the plus button and re-add it. Um, there's my printer. It's the uh, HP Photo Pro PhotoSmart Premium. C309GM and it is connected via USB. So we're going to go ahead and click add and it'll just re add our printer. That's going to refresh it. And you want to make sure that share this printer on the network is turned on. And then if it is not already in internet wireless under sharing, you're going to want to make sure printer sharing right here is sorry turned on and checked off for the printer you would like to add. Okay, so um, once you're done that, just click the lock to make to prevent changes right there, and you can exit out of system preferences. Now, you'll notice that when I go into the print page on my um, computer on my phone, the printer I would like to select, I can now select. I can make a bunch. I can select how many copies I want. Let's say I want one copy. I can click the print button and it's going to send the job to the printer. There you go. You should be able to hear that right now, but I'm going to let it print out. So it's printing right now. I'm going to let it print out and then I'm going to show you the page you put it on. So while this is actually printing out, I'm just going to, so we don't waste time, um, comment, rate, subscribe, guys. Um, I'm not going to quit the video just yet because I actually do want to show you that it does work. And it does look like it's coming out. Okay, yeah. Um, I don't know if you can see it that well. But it did print what I tried to print. Um, a little bit of it did get cut off. And you can tell because my carrier bar at the top is cut off. Um, but it did work. I'm going to play around with that. And if I find a update for that, I will let you guys know. But at the moment, it is working perfectly. So that's how to enable AirPrint. Again, the download link for the AirPrint Hacktivator is in the link in the description. Have a nice day, guys.